Western Australia, a vast, inhospitable landscape with a rich history paved in gold. For 130 years, gold hunters from all over the world have been lured to this harsh environment, including Alex Stead, who has travelled over 15,000 kilometres from the cooler comforts of his home in England to the extreme heat of the Australian outback. I fell in love with gold when I was about six years old. I think my expectations were a dream. The reality is it's a lot harder, it's a lot tougher. At his 1,200 hectare linger and die lease, Alex is joined by his father-in-law, engineering expert, Eric. The master brain got a master switch. I'd have found that at the next switch. Come on, let's go. Alex's best mate, Jimbo, has travelled from England for a few weeks' break to also lend a hand. Alex spent the entire ride out to the bush telling me about all the different creatures that were going to kill me, eat me, hunt me, chase me. But the scariest thing out here is Eric. <laughs> Jimbo, get out the road or I'll dig a hole in your foot. Let's see what we haven't achieved. Unfortunately, the scrappers are nearly halfway through their season with just half an ounce of gold to show for it. At this point, the pressure is getting a little extreme. Uh, the wife's not happy with the lack of gold. My bank balance isn't happy with the uh, lack of funds. We've got to run. It's now or never. This season is riding on their new gold processing plant called Smasher, which, despite being five weeks behind schedule, is finally ready to run. First load of dirt, hey Eric. Is it going to be any good? Yeah? All right, I'll tell you that as a yes. The delay is a throwback to last season, when the scrappers struggled to get their homemade wash plant scrappy up and running, until it was too late. So we're short. We're short, yeah. We're uh, about 10 ounces short. This season, Alex invested $55,000 buying a new rock crushing mill but they've had to disassemble their wash plant in order to get Smasher up and running. We've completely camelblized Scrappy to get this new monster running, but there's one problem after another. With Scrappy out of action, Alex needs to get Smasher churning through pay dirt if they're to have any chance of reaching their 150-ounce target. We can't waste another day. This dirt has to go through with no problems. All right, let's do this. Start burning some diesel. Let's fire the generator up. All right, full meal on. Hammer on. Door on. Conveyor on. You're good to go. Absolutely brilliant to see it going. We're running, finally. Everything's running! Smasher works by crushing gold-bearing rocks into fine powder to extract the gold. The ore runs through a jaw crusher and hammer before entering the ball mill, a large rotating cylinder filled with steel balls which reduces rock to fine powder. Water pushes dirt along a vibrating shaker table, trapping the gold while the lighter mud slurry washes into a pond. Good feeling, but I still got the butterflies at the bottom of my stomach thinking, is something going to snap? Is something going to break? So until this is put maybe 50, 100, 200 hours under its belt, then I'll, I'll feel a bit more comfortable. All right then, mate, we're about there? Yeah, I reckon so. Got your present. Some colours from home. Oh, thank you, mate. Cornish flag. Cornish boys, gold yeah. mining. Yeah, it's run the colours. All right. Uh, keep going, keep going. She's on. She's looking good. Oh, yeah, the winds have changed, mate. <laughs> Everything's going to work. All right, let's do this. Get it done, the flag's on. What are you waiting <laughs> for? Get off, let's go. Right here. We're away. Let's put some dirt in them. <laughs> Take this scrappy and start producing. Yeah, it's working. Just go steady. Hooray. First one up. Another 360,000 to go. It's 
Scrappy's running. Eric's doing a great job of feeding her. Now, if we can get gold coming out of the smasher, that'd be a smashing day. This is exactly what we wanted, and it couldn't have happened any later. Under a last bit of diesel, and we're catching gold. We're finally gold mining. The scrappers are. We're in the game. Leaving Jimbo in charge of Smasher, Alex takes time out with his 61-year-old father-in-law. As soon as the sun gets low, it's time to crack open a couple of beers, go down and see if we can find a few little nuggets to finish the day off. It's a bit of a reward when you're tired and exhausted, and every so often, it even puts a smile on Eric's face. Ooh. There's no stopping you now. You're going to be jackass. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, you're joking. Look at that. This means a bit of a relief at the end of the trail, if they, if they keep coming out like that. It's a good sign. It's a beautiful nugget. If there's more of these in this creek, you go OK. At one and a half ounces, the $2,400 nugget is proof they're on gold-rich dirt, providing they can keep their processing plants running. With both plants running, the scrappers are about to see the first results from two days of operation. Scales on the table. Moment of truth. That's from Smasher. My first runs. What do you reckon? Just on the end, I think. That's from a Scrappy. I reckon that's got to be more than half an ounce, that one, maybe three quarters. All right. From Smasher, 0.67 of an ounce Scrappy. We're now ounce and a half total. And uh, our hard work detecting the creek. Two, three, ooh, four, five. 8.5 ounces. Eight and a half. Eight and a half ounces. It's not ugly. It's not ugly, no. It's not ugly, but we're going to need double that. But you know what? That's our first proper cleanup, and we've got gold from every source. The $13,600 payday is a massive leap forward for the scrappers. All day, every day, both machines. Let's make them squeal. <laughs> but with Jimbo due to return home to England soon, Alex and Eric have a mountain to climb. Got a long way to go, but with two machines running, we've got a, we've got a fighting chance to see some colour this year. <laughs>